Breaking into open source isn't as hard as you might think. In fact, after you watch this video, you should be able to get started right away. So in this video, I'm going to tell you a couple easy ways to contribute open source, but more importantly, I'm going to tell you how it can also impact your career. So let's identify some steps on how you can break into open source. Um, the first like pretty obvious one is just identify a project in general. I personally recommend that you pick a project that you use day to day, um, but there is some benefits to focusing on projects that are in their growth phase or really early in their development cycle because there's just more need to you know have contributors and it's a lot easier to make impact at the end of the day it is up to you though so you know pick your poison the next thing i like to do is see if there is a discord community that i can jump in and find ways that i can immediately be helpful so an example of that would just be simply asking or answering questions for people that are having trouble with the tool or library that they're using i think there's a common misconception that contributing to open source has to be in the form of code and that's simply not true just answering questions and being a light to the community is truly beneficial to the project. Now, if you want to start making code contributions, there's a couple ways to go about this. Um, one way is just to literally pick an issue and start drafting a PR. Just make sure before you start submitting PRs, you read the README or the contributing guide just to make sure you're following the community guidelines. You can also reach out to the core team and find out ways you can help. Just be mindful that these people are busy and you know it might take a little bit for them to respond to you. But at the end of the day, just make sure you respect people's boundaries and all should be okay. Quick pro tip, if you go into a project and you try to make sweeping changes, make sure one, you draft a proposal up for the core team. So you guys align on expectations here. This is going to allow you to not waste your time and it's going to save everybody's time because maintainers will have to go in and ultimately just close your pull request. So just keep that in mind when you think you need to make huge changes. Now, if you don't have any projects top of mind, you can go to GitHub issues and search for things that are tagged with first time contributor or good first issues. And this kind of leads to another tip that I'm going to say that may be controversial to some people, but I personally think it's fine. And that's just simply participate participating in Hacktoberfest. I personally like Hacktoberfest. I've done it in the previous years, but just make sure when you participate in it, just submit good PRs, be a good person. But anyways, I'll let you research Hacktoberfest on your own um, and we'll leave it at that. Now, the next thing I really want to talk about is just how open source benefits your career as a whole. Um, but before we continue, if you're liking the video, if you think the tips are helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It truly helps me a lot. Many, many thanks. <clears throat> One area where I think open source truly shines is helping you work on your soft skills. You get to start collaborating with other people. You get to learn how to receive feedback, implement the feedback, or even give feedback, right? Just being in that collaborative environment is truly beneficial to thriving in a team environment. Another great thing about open source is there's, there's no titles. There's no junior, senior, staff engineer, none of that bullshit. It's simply people that just want to work together and see a project succeed. And I think that's just one of the most beautiful things ever. There's no guardrails, there's no gatekeeping, right? And I see people always saying, well, well I'm not smart enough. I don't think I'm good enough to contribute to this project. That's not true. Everyone's here to help you. Just simply ask questions. Assuming you're not involved in a toxic project, people are going to be willing to help you and level you up as an engineer. So I'm a strong believer that making an impact in open source can ultimately open up doors you would never dream of in the in the tech industry. And I'll, I stand by that. So I had a tweet last week basically about what I just said. Um, and a lot of people had a had some shitty things to say about it, but my buddy Dax had a really good reply that I think everyone should hear. So he said, the most unique opportunities in the world don't have a front door. You have to find the side door. OSS, open source software, can be the side door, but there's no step-by-step -step instructions. The upside is you're not one of a thousand people knocking on the front door. So interpret that as you will. I think it's a great tweet and everyone should follow Dax. Thank you, Dax, for that great reply. I couldn't have said it any better myself. So I've seen firsthand people with zero experience just getting reached out to for job opportunities simply because they're killing it in the open source software world, however the hell you want to say that. But I just want to make it apparent to other people that just aren't really in the open source scene that if you're looking for a job, I think open source is a great way to just show off your skills and potentially be headhunted. Alas, it's worth noting you don't have to do open source. I'm just trying to tell you the benefits of doing it. But again, it's all up to you. Do as you will. Um, and I'll see you around. Trash out.